Hello solo students, time is moving fast. Yesterday the lectures of week 6 already came available online on the edX platform. I see a lot of activities in the course and every student is working on his own pace. I see activities going from week 3 up to week 6. This means I can present you the result on a question I ask you in week 2. What is your favorite semiconductor material for PV applications. The far majority has chosen good old silicon because it's abundantly available, it's relatively cheap and crystalline silicon wafer based photovoltaic devices can achieve relatively high efficiency. I also noticed that a lot of students are still working in week three. Week three together with week two is the most fundamental part of this course. Also week three has a large working load, by far the largest working load of the entire course. And week three is followed by the first exam. For that reason we've decided to postpone the deadline of the exam with four days. It means that the students still working in week three have one additional weekend available to finish the exam. I encourage those students finish the exam because after week three things are getting more relaxed and easier. The knowledge you learned in week two and week three we will use that to look at various PV technologies in week four and week five. In week six things are going to be completely different because we're going to discuss solar thermal and solar fuels. So we don't convert sun energy into electricity, we convert it into heat and solar fuels. Next week Already the first lectures of the third part of the solar cell course will become available online. We're going to discuss about PV systems. We'll discuss their components and the design rails. You will be able to design your own PV system. As you can see, I'm standing in the solar lab, the Delft Solar Lab. It's our PV lab we use to educate students, to get them familiar with PV systems. The best student in this course will be offered a one week workshop in this PV lab. It's for free. We will cover your travel costs, we will cover your lodging expenses. And last I would like to ask all participants a favor. I would like you to make a video of your own PV system. If you don't have a PV system, interview your neighbor who has a PV system or your friend who has a PV system or one of your relatives who has a PV system. Ask them what do they like about their solar system, ask them what they don't like. So I would like that we could share all this experience with each other. Put this very short clip on YouTube and share the link to this clip on in the blog which we dedicate to those videos. Last, I would wish everybody good luck in the course and I would encourage the students which working in week 3 finish the exam this weekend and for all the people I would like to see you back in the next lecture.